Okay, so this is the first of the hyperbola assignment, and you can see they gave us a standard form of the hyperbola, and I know this because one of them is positive, one of them is negative. And with hyperbola, then, the big thing is what's written first. The positive term should always be written first. So in this case, because x is written first, we're going to end up with a, a sideways hyperbola. So the center is there's nothing with the x squared and the y squared, so it's 0, 0 for my center. And then if I'm going to find the vertices, what I do is I go to the first denominator. So I'm going to take that 16 square root it and I get 4. So I'm going to go right and left 4 from the center. So to get the smaller value, I should go left first. And so that's going to be negative 4 comma 0. Um, then if I go to the right 4 from the center, I would be at 4 comma 0. And so if you wanted to now, you could go and look at which graph has vertices at 4, 0 and negative 4, 0. So for me, this is the graph that I would be using. The rest of them are either up and down or it looks like maybe, you know, they're at 6. So that's not a good one. So that would be my graph there. Then we'll continue. So... If this is my graph, I'm just going to use that as my picture then to describe what I'm doing. So I've already moved 4 to the left and 4 to the right. What I would do then is I would take the second denominator, this 25. And so I'm going to do 25. I'm going to square root it and I get 5. So if I go up 5 and down 5, we're not going to label those, but I'm going to... Um, just draw, use those to draw that imaginary box. Imaginary box vertically all the way down. And the key is, remember that these asymptotes go through the corners of the box. That's how they got these imaginary lines. And then when you place your vertices, that's why you go back and now go to your vertices and you trace out toward the asymptotes and you just follow the asymptote. So these, what were called co-vertices yesterday with the ellipse, they're not even labeled. They just help us draw these horizontal and vertical lines. Um, so like you draw a horizontal through that and you draw a vertical through that. That's where I got that imaginary green box. Okay, so then back to finding the last part, these, the focus. Now there's two of them. And so the idea, I'll use, uh, I'll use purple, I guess. So the idea with this is the formula now is C squared equals A squared plus B squared. So if you don't add them together, you're going to get a focus that's in here, and that would not be good. You want your focus out inside those two parabolas. So my C then would be the square root of, all you have to do is add your two denominators together, and I'm getting the square root of 41, which is not nice. It can't be simplified. So if I move it, it's a little bit more than six, not quite seven, right? So if I go one, two, three, four, five, six, I'm gonna have a focus that's about right here. And basically I add it to my center. So if my center is at zero, zero, I'm gonna go to the right, the square root of 41, and I'm gonna go to the left, the square root of 41. And so this would be my smaller one. And this technically is my larger one. They want the larger and smaller x values. And that's how you do that problem.